All right, let's see what we got. What? Three volts? Any right. Honey, my multimeter's broke. I gotta go buy a new one. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, don't answer that, this is just a recording. Um, this is Brian Page here, and um, today I received something in the mail that's got me thinking about my ESU cab control system, and I decided, you know what, I need to do an update on this. Um, I did a video on it a few weeks back when I first got the ESU cab control system, and I had trouble reading track voltage, and I also had troubles with uh, some of the settings when I was setting it up. And I may have said a couple things that weren't entirely accurate. So today, I received in the mail the Mighty RR Amp Meter. Yes. And I will put a link below where I got it. Um, this is just a uh, version 1. Uh, no case. Uh, it's just the plain board. Um, and uh, I'll take it over to the tracks and show you how to use it. But... Uh, you can also get uh, the version 2, version 3, this is just a plain version 1 because I'm so cheap I squeak when I walk. Okay, hopefully you can see my ESU cab control system down there. I believe in, the, in my first video on the ESU cab control system I said something about um, if the uh, one of the green lights was slow blinking that was a good thing. Well, no, I was wrong. And what should actually happen is if the voltage is set high enough on the cab control to actually register and allow the track power to turn on, then what you should see is what I have here. I've got a, I've got a blue light, a green light, and another green light, and they're all on steady. So that is what you should be seeing. Um, and as long as the throttle which is here, is active and the screen is on, you'll have that blue light. So if the screen goes down, I think, let's try that. Yeah, screen went down, I pushed the button and the blue light went out. If I turn it back on, we should be getting a blue light again, yeah. So there you have it, okay? So I was wrong about that in the first video. All right. Now here's what I really wanted to get to in this video. This Klein Tools multimeter right here, it's a CL800. It has all kinds of stuff on it. You can use it for heating and air conditioning. You can use it to measure temperatures in ovens. I mean, you name it, you can do it with this. This is supposed to be the greatest thing since peanut butter and jelly, right? Well, here's the problem. With the track power on right now, I am reading a little below 3 volts AC. Yeah. Okay. So much for the climb. So, I dug my old fluke meter out of the closet, uh, which I replaced with that climb, and lo and behold, this fluke can measure the voltage on the track. What I'm thinking here is that the simpler your meter, the better off you are at reading DCC AC voltage on the track. All right, so now instead of worrying about which meter does what and uh, whether they can read the DCC voltage or not, I'm going to take this fancy schmancy RR amp meter that I just got today and I'm gonna put that on the track. Now, I don't know if I've got the right angle on the camera here, but with the two, with these two tabs right here touching the tracks, uh, by the way, that is J1. Um, I don't know if you can see that, J1 side. With those two leads touching the tracks, I've got 14.2 volts 
almost 14.3, and 0 0.02 amps. That is so much easier than trying to do this with a meter that you don't know if it's going to work or not. Alrighty y'all, so the Fluke multimeter proved that yes, you can read the track voltage with a multimeter. Honestly, I don't know if the Klein multimeter can't read that DCC voltage or am I not using it properly? I, I have to admit, either scenario is possible. But in the end, for me, it turned out better just to get the RR amp meter to be sure. And hey, the good news is the trains are running. I've got voltage on the track. The cab control is doing what it's supposed to do. I'm very happy with that system. And the throttle is just insanely great. So uh, as always, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And... Uh, Feel free to leave any comments, and I will see you at the next stop.